Hey Diva Dolls, what's up? This is your girl Crystal Chanel and I am back with a new video sharing you all of my tips and tricks as far as how to dress more attractive and be more attractive and of course feel more attractive. So you know I make these videos for women but also anyone can take away some tips from this video especially my curvy girls, fat girls, uh, fluffy girls, plus size girls, team big girl like whatever you identify as i just want you to know that i am here for you and i'm going to be sharing you the tips and the things that i do personally so if you want to know more stay tuned So it's Crystal Chanel here. I cover everything fitness, fashion, entrepreneurial, um, you know, everything beauty, hair, like that on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you follow me, subscribe, and share this channel with your friends. But we're going to get right into how to dress more attractive and be more attractive. Some of these things are things that you can do right away. Some of these things are things you may have to take some time to work on. But all in all, they're things that are pretty simple and I think everyone can benefit from them because I know I personally do. Take care of your outer appearance, okay? So what do I mean by that? I mean, make sure you keep your nails done. Not saying you have to go to a place and pay money to get them done. I'm saying just take care of yourself. People who look well put together, they actually take time on their outer appearance. So make sure your nails are done, whether you trim them, keep them clean, put a polish on top, whether it's clear or color. I like to get my nails done. It's the way for me to express my... Um, fashions and I think it just looks really nice. Um, another thing you can do is learn how to do your makeup. I know a lot of people say makeup is hard. As long as you can put on your eyebrows, maybe go ahead and put on some mascara or just make sure your grooming all together is there because a lot of people unfortunately judge you by the way you look. And if you want to come off as being attractive, you kind of want to come off as being put together. Also caring about your grooming in the sense of your skin. Um, skin care is a big one guys. I remember having like problems with my skin when I was younger and that used to make me feel insecure or that used to make me feel, you know, not as beautiful as I would see girls, um, you know, on social media or TV. It's just TV. It's really not real, you know? Um, and not to mention they know how to do a natural beat. They was wearing a ton of makeup and I didn't know that back then, but I started paying attention to my skincare. And once my skin started glowing without makeup, it made me feel prettier. And whenever you feel pretty or you feel good because you think you have on a nice outfit like your confidence will shine and that is what essentially attracts people so i know i'm doing this video on how to dress more attractive but we're not just trying to dress attractive we're trying to be attractive and it really starts on the inside i know it sounds corny and i know it sounds cliche but that's true now, another thing you can do is make sure your whole appearance, like your whole vibe is good. So I'm going to go ahead and mention fragrance. I know you guys can't smell me right now, but I smell so delicious, y'all. In fact, this video has been sponsored by Dossier. You guys know I've worked with them in the past and I truly 100% recommend them. That's why I tell you guys about them. So, so a little bit about Dossier. It is a brand that uses the finest ingredients. They only use ingredients from France. And the reason why they can get away with having inexpensive prices is because they do not have the fancy name brand attached to the scent. Dossier is giving you the real deal for the low price. I have so spent upward of $300 on one bottle and it's a bottle where I would only spray it for special occasions whether it's a hot date whether it is um, my birthday anniversary whatever right so I can't always wear perfume that I love because of the cost so I was really happy to find Dossier about a year ago they have all of the fragrances that I'm in love with like my Burberry my Chanel even the fragrances that I'm just now getting hip to like Baccarat Rouge I talked about that in my previous video as well as um, Killian the fragrance that they say Rihanna wears when I spray my fragrance it's like the cherry on top it makes me feel like I'm a bad B. You know what I'm saying? Like after beating my face, after having flattering cute outfit, once I put that 
fragrance on top i know i'm about to set it off and then when i walk by they're gonna be like oh damn she smells good okay so this is what i'm saying as far as dressing more attractive being more attractive it's doing the whole thing and you can do that using dossier an example i absolutely love chanel and because of that i ordered the chanel coco madame Zoelle. i ordered it so i can test how close the actual real one is and y'all it's very 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 hard to tell the difference so look how much you get it's like 50 milliliters and you can get this whole bottle for around 29 dollars some of them are 59 dollars it just depends on which brand you go with this one is oriental oak moss i'm gonna spray it for you and try to describe it iconic y'all i love this smell so basically it has top notes of bergamot orange and peach so it kind of gives you that sweetness it has middle notes of jasmine rose and patchouli and it has base notes of oak moss which is my favorite i found vanilla and vevetier so if you don't know what your distinct smell is that's okay they do have a fragrance quiz that you can take right on their website so you can figure out what smells would be best for you everything comes packaged really well this is how it comes really cute you can throw some wrapping paper right on this throw it in a bag with some tissue paper and here goes your Christmas present or your holiday present now they even have some deals y'all like I'm I didn't even know they had candles okay I was on their website checking it out and I saw they have some holiday deals where you can actually get candles along with the smell people think I smell really good that's a part of my personal brand so if I have that smell plus my house smells like that like y'all like I'm doing it all right it, I'm a vibe so I'm very excited to see that they have the candles and that they have the uh, fragrances and they sell them together and at a discount now, like so this is I the new smell I'm gonna smell it together with you. This is inspired by Tom Ford, fucking fabulous, and it's really popular. I've seen it all over uh, fragrance TikTok. I'm gonna spray the car that it comes with, which gives you an info all about your fragrance. Huh? That's different. Definitely spicy. It's spicy. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I smell the sage and I definitely smell, I think, like the leathery note in an event like this. I would recommend try your fragrance for a few days, see how it wears, see how you like it. But if you absolutely just cannot get down with it, one thing Dacia offers is a 30-day return exchange window. All you have to do is box up your unused fragrance and go ahead and send it back. And it's a worry-free guarantee. So that's all I'm going to really mention right now about Dossier. Again, I'll put everything that I love from them as well as their holiday sets and any discount codes down below for you. But that's a part of how I feel attractive. It's because I look good and I smell good. Know your body type. You can be a round body type. You can be an hourglass body type. You can be a triangle or a pear. I'm like a triangle. Basically, my bottom half is bigger and my top half is smaller. People think I'm like an hourglass. No, I'm really not. I'm really tiny on the top and big on the bottom. So with all that being said, you need to know your body type. When you understand your body shape, you can actually dress yourself better. Whenever you have this triangle shape, you want to kind of wear clothes that are flattering for your hips. You want to wear shirts that kind of stop right at your waist. You want to accentuate your waist using um, a belt or wearing like cut off shirts that stop there. So whenever you have that circle body type, it's ideal for you to find clothes that will hug you either on the bottom or the top. Not normally both at the same time. Only really hourglass kind of gets away with wearing tight clothes or body clon uh, clothes. I'm not saying that you can't break any of these suggestions. You definitely can do you. Like that's what fashion is all about. It's doing you. But to make yourself feel most confident, you should definitely dress for your body type. So if you're all round, like if you're considered a circle body type, I would say maybe wear some tight um, boyfriend jeans and maybe like a loose fitting blouse or you can wear instead like a tighter top, like a turtleneck or something and then wide leg bottoms. You kind of want to make that trade. Like say so if you have broad, like a triangle upside down, you're small on the bottom and wide on the top. You can definitely do things like peplum tops. Those are flattering. You can do things where you have uh, V-necks coming down to kind of draw attention to your uh, like chest and your shoulders and your collarbone. 
Um, you can wear accessories. I mean, there's so many options when it comes to dressing your body type. And I can do a whole video on this. I actually plan on doing a video on how to shop for your body type and actually how to shop for being plus size. I think those are two things that when I was getting into shopping online, especially during the pandemic, no one really covered that. So if that's something you guys like to see, give me a thumbs up. But I'm going to just stop that point right here is the secret is into knowing your body shape and dressing for your body shape. definitely want to pay attention to when it comes to wearing your clothes and dressing most attractive is your foundation okay so when it comes to dressing one of the things that if you believe in it you should definitely wear and rock is shapewear because it makes my clothes fall better on me um, on different materials that you wear different cuts that you wear um, something like this for example I have on a uh, push-up bra I like having my girls up whenever I have a v-cut like this if I'm wearing something that is strapless obviously I'm gonna have on a strapless bra when it comes to my bras to prevent high back roll I find a bra with a wide band that way it keeps me all smooth in the back one person who has made shapewear cool again is Kim Kardashian. I have been rocking true with my Spanx as well as my Miracle Suit. So those are the shapewears that I like to wear. Finally accept wearing shapewear because it's not supposed to make you look skinnier. It's just supposed to accentuate your look and to give you that clean put together look. Instead of looking frumpy, you can put on shapewear and you look smooth and your silhouette is just instantly um, improved, okay? Dress with colors in mind. Now, I know a lot of times bigger women, plus size, curvy, whatever, I know we kind of shy away from wearing colors, but honestly, patterns and colors, they will do wonders for you. Um, now, instead of jumping into something really, really trendy, maybe don't go that route if you're not 100% comfortable yet. But of course, you can kind of do the classic black or the classic white or gray. Those are staple items. I still stand by that as I did in my original video. But I also just want to say whenever I see women, especially women of color with melanin, like it pops with bright oranges, yellows, bright pinks. I love seeing like fair skin women. They usually have like on nudie pinks or they have on like pretty, um, I don't know, like reds. Like those are vibrant colors. Oranges. You have to find what colors work best for you. Do not be afraid to experiment because a lot of times when you wear powerful colors, I'll use like the color example red, you feel like a boss. You feel sexy, you feel feminine, you feel energized. Your clothes should give you a feeling. If you're putting on clothes and it just feels frumpy or it just feels um, lackluster, that's the kind of tone you're going to put out. That's the kind of energy you're going to put out. And that essentially is how you're going to think you look. Well, for example, whenever you look in a mirror, you should be getting your reflection back. And it's not just how you look. You should be getting back, bouncing that energy from what you're wearing off of you. It's that deep, y'all. That's how deep I think about my clothes. As far as like going out, I always like to wear materials that look expensive, that feel expensive, and they are not always expensive. Again, I'm thinking about recording a video telling you how to shop, how to look for materials, what percentages to look for, like all that stuff. So that's something you guys are into. Let me know Otherwise, if you're not bold enough to wear a hot pink shirt. Maybe try it with your makeup first. Put it on your lipstick. Maybe use some eyeshadow on the bottom lash line like eyeliner. You guys can play with color and every single time I wear something with color, I always get complimented. And that's because it makes people happy. Like colors actually do things. This is a psychological thing, y'all. The more and more I get into learning about the world and just myself, I'm finding that things are filling. It's all energy. You can dress more attractive by simply introducing color into your overall look, whether it be clothing, shoes, accessories, or makeup. So uh, quick check-in. Are you guys feeling this? Can you leave a comment down below if you're feeling this video? Let me know if you have any questions. I will comment back with you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead on to the next tip. I promise we're almost over. Invest in foundation pieces. So not quite like shapewear, but similar. Kind of like having those go-to essential pieces. Figure out your 
most flattering jeans and get that same jean or um you know whatever in a light denim a dark denim i recommend to get um body suits i am a killer for jumpsuits body suits i have almost the same thing in like a gray a dark gray i have it in white black tan those are like my basic pieces and i also find biker shorts that are the same um, I like to have white collar shirts. I like to have jean jackets. Again, light denim, dark denim. Those are like capsule pieces. Those are pieces that if you have like foundation pieces, you can always build on top of them. I have, they're called my feel good pieces. Okay. So um, I, no matter what, can grab like that tank top that's like seamless material. Um, or my bodysuit, that seamless material, I can always grab something out of my capsule, my foundation pieces, and add now maybe a trendier piece with it. But I know that no matter what, I'm still going to look good because my base piece, my foundation piece, I look good in. So I hope that makes sense. Let me kind of put it in layman terms. You want to have pieces in your closet that make you feel amazing when you put it on that can serve as the base of your outfit and then from there you can just add on whether it's with a color of some sort to give you an example i have these jeans that are my favorite i can wear any shirt with it a tank top a blouse a bodysuit a jacket a sweater a cardigan it does not matter i'm going to feel sexy and feel confident because i love those jeans and i have them on you can style and dress more attractive if you have those base foundation pieces that you feel good in. Because no matter then what you experiment with, you will always feel and look good. Okay, doll. So that is it. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend. In fact, if you have any tips that I left out or anything that you do to make yourself feel good, look good, and um, you know dress more attractive, leave the comment down below. Let the other diva dolls know. Also, remember, check out Dossier. They have a lot of holiday sales, and I personally recommend them. I would definitely be giving these out as gifts, so I'll put all the holiday sets down below and any discounts that I can find for you. Not already subscribed to this channel? What are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as my fitness channel and my vlog channel. I'll put those links down below to you know I have my new Instagram. Make sure you follow me there, which is at Chrissy the Doll Official. Make sure you also follow my TikTok as well as my Twitter, and I'll put everything on the screen. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Again, I really appreciate all of your love and support. And as always, stay fabulous and stay fierce.